Pat Pepping serves as a member of the Tri-State Development Steering Committee. It's named Missouri 19 one of its priorities to improve the economic development of the Tri-State region, but more importantly, to keep drivers safe. A lot of our folks around here go to the Lake of the Ozarks, goes to Mark Twain Lake, and we want a safe route for them back and forth. We don't feel like the two-lane road that over there is a safe way, and, and we want to make it a major artery in and out of the tri-state region. Wanda Burr-White from Perry, Missouri, was one of the first people on the scene Sunday morning. She can relate to the dangers of Missouri 19. A semi T-boned her car about two years ago along this stretch of highway. I think it's a dangerous road. There's been a lot of accidents on it, and it's heavily traveled. You've got 18 wheelers, you've got campers. I would like to see a divided highway. The Missouri Department of Transportation told KHQA it has not identified Missouri 19 as a priority, but that's something Pepping and other members of the Tri-State Development Steering Committee are working to change. Take 61, it was in Missouri. I'm not picking on Missouri, by the way. Missouri has some great roads, and they've done a great job. And when they, when they improved 61 north of Canton, think of all the lives that saved. People were being killed when that 61 it was going south out of Hannibal years ago down this to St. Louis was a dangerous road, the two-lane road. Four-lane roads are much safer. But Pepping says it's going to take a commitment on the part of the state and taxpayers. The problem with MoDOT has, just like the other two states in Iowa and Illinois, is they need funding. This is where we got to come across. Folks are just going to have to step up and fund highways. 